This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Don't let your kids watch it! Hey there, Artie! Let's go! Yeah, lunch! やっぱりこうじゃないとダメだよね。It's lunch. It's the most wonderful time of the day. Satoko so brought her own desk over as well, grinning broadly. Even knowing nothing had been resolved, this exchange was pleasant and made me remember how fun it used to be. <laughs> That's what it allows me to make experiment food. <laughs> Rika's a, such a good girl. Having such a good friend must be so reassuring. <laughs> yep. Wow. I take it back. Well, hmm. She's Rika after all. Oh, that kooky Rika! Mushrooms are pretty bomb. Okay, well, we're not encouraging people to come become wives when they're like 15 or 16. Those better be two separate phrases, not one there, Rena. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Wait, what did you prefer? What, bread and jam again? <laughs> cool. I mean, if you don't, if you don't like it, you can always trade. Uh, I'm sure you can trade them to Albert. He'll love them. <laughs> you brought stew for lunch? Are you gonna like, heat it up, or is it cold stew? <laughs> Are they eating cold stew? Alright, Keiji. Uh, Sato's it's a little too close there, Miss Satoko. Oh, she's not that close in the main art stuff, but <laughs> she is in this one. Let's go, everybody! Oh, whatever, I don't even like Daikon. This little exchange, how long had it been? I don't know. It looked like they'd end up going to the wait-and-see approach, but maybe her uncle had realized he'd gone a little too far and would dial it back now. If her treatment improved a little, would that be a good thing? Satoko was grinning wider than I'd ever seen as she chomped down on her mouthful of the daikon she'd plundered from me. Did it really taste that good? Jeez, oh my gosh! Why are you jump-scaring me when now she has empty eyes? Satoko was somewhat cute like that. And just as I'd done many times, I grabbed her head and started petting it. Well, that's weird. Oh. Catch. Smack. Flip. Flop. Chatter. Clatter. Uh, what is going on here? It was so sudden that for a moment, I don't know what had happened. Wait, what, what did happen? Uh, what, 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 what did happen? The back of my hand was staining. Uh, I went to pet Satoko's head, and then she hit my hand. Mia, yeah, maybe because you're being weird. Do, do Satoko? Satoko was scratching at her head, as though a pimple or something had appeared on it and became itchy. Oh, did we touch her head and it was bruised? It was so sudden and so unprovoked that I didn't understand what had happened. Do, do Satoko? At some point, her body had been covered in a thin layer of sweat, 
and her breathing had turned ragged. When I pet her head, did she not like it? Was that what it meant? Probably. Is a general rule of thumb, yes, girls don't like it when you do that to them. Once again, slowly, I held out the palm of my hand and brought it close to Satoko's head. I'll just do it again. That'll make it better. The instant of the palm of my hand touched her head, there was a shock like static electricity, and Satoko began to howl. Uh-oh. Jeez! Uh-oh. She grabbed my arm in both hands, and as if leaning off a snake trying to cling to her, as if trying to throw away something dirty, she threw it violently. It happened too suddenly for me to react. I hit the desk behind me, and both it and I fell to the floor. The classroom fell deathly silent. As I took a bellowed, it sounded like she was in the throes of death, and she unsteadily backed away. Well, jeez! Well, this is messed up already. Oh my gosh! Empty eyes, tears, the likes. Oh, that one, that one actually looks fairly normal. All right. Uh, I didn't mean to. I didn't think it was that big a deal. Then she threw up the food. She just oh oh she, she vomited it all back. Oh oh splish splat. Well, okay. Oh jeez the wheeze. Okay, so she is violently ill. Jeez the wheeze. What's going on? <laughs> Are you okay? I see you just threw up all the contents of your stomach. You seem sick. I guess they didn't give a sprite for that. Okay, okay. I won't do that again. I reached out a hand and... Why would you do it a third time?! You are so stupid, my gosh! <laughs> He's like, okay, so I, let me see. I tried to pet her head, and she smacked it away. And, and then I did it again, and then she started screaming and threw up all her food. So then, of course, I decided to do it a third time, and I can't believe that that didn't work out! <laughs> my gosh, like, this stupid is as stupid does. With such extreme strength, I fell on the floor again. So I took up both of her hands on her head as though protecting it, groaned some more, and then took a few steps back. And then she began swinging both hands around. Students in nearby seats were forced to evacuate. She grabbed anything within reach. Bento boxes, chairs, threw them, tossed them, and flung them about. Uh oh. It's all coming out. Literally. She screamed out as if Mion's words had caused her physical pain. No one spoke a word to her. All the students were withdrawing behind us, leaving Satoko alone in the corner of the classroom. Around her, there were desks and chairs all over the floor. Bento lay scattered. It was terrible. All I could hear was Satoko's ragged breaths and the voices of the cicadas. Stupid cicadas, shut up! <laughs> There's no need to apologize. The, st the strains of tension loosened around Satoko, and maybe she suddenly grew scared of her own actions because she started trembling and gave a word of apology. But nobody knew just who that apology was directed towards. And, for now, I decided to answer as everyone's representative. Uh-oh. Dan, uh, her voice actress is doing a great job, though. Our words didn't match each other at all. Satoko hugged her shoulders, and back, back she went. She ran into the locker with the cleaning supplies in it. Even that made her give a little yelp. The impact caused the bucket atop the locker to fall, and uh, making a loud sound, and that scared Satoko most of all. She almost jumped out of her skin, grabbing a bunch of the curtain a bunch of the curtain in her hands. Nobody spoke to her. They could only look, not even remembering to blink. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. I don't think things got better for her after uh, calling the cops. Satoko, what? What on earth? I stood up, took a step away from everyone, and approached Satoko. Jeez, 
やいーくす落ち落ち着けよザトコ俺がわかるかもうやだもうやだやですやですキュー Well, this is uncomfortable. Every time I took a step forward, she grasped the curtains more tightly and cried out. Zatoko, I'm here. Keiichi, do you know? Do you have any fear? Don't eat me! Yeah! Ah! 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 This is tragic, and I just want to point out this is still a better timeline than Chapter 2 for her, where she was brutally tortured to death by Mio Shion. Yikes. Suddenly, my shoulders were grabbed and I was dragged backward. It was Rena. After pulling me back, she ran towards Satoko in my place. <laughs> Keiichi, let's leave this to a woman's touch. <laughs> this is going very dark. Jeez. As she gripped the curtains and kept calling for Nini, she continued to wail about being forgiven for something and to be saved from something. What? What is this? <laughs> Mio gnashed her teeth and groaned, and there were tears falling from her firmly closed eyes. What the hell is that? You know that. Where's Rika in all this? Is she just is she just has if any a psychotic grin on her face? <laughs> Rena is literally the only one with her head on her shoulders at this point. Crash! There was a crazy sound. <laughs> hey, 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 it's crazy! Rena had taken the cleaning supply locker and kicked it down to the ground. Everyone stood surprised at Rena's unexpected act of brutality. After that, Rena embraced the bawling Satoko from behind and started crying with her stifled. Rena, what was The locker was being rude. Sorry. with all due respect, please shut up. Did you not hear her tell you to be quiet? Why are you screaming after she told you to be quiet? Yes! Thank you, Rena! Yes! Thank you! Rena's raw, hostile emotion hit me like a brick. It was no more than a momentary howl of emotion from Rena, but it was more than that for me. She had shown me what was behind all that emotion, what was in her heart. Forgive us for being unable to do anything. Rena's words made me feel as though the blood vessels in the back of my head were suddenly all turning to ash. My vision grew distant, blurred with gray, and the world lost its color. I thought, I thought we could save Satoko. But, though I knew I'd be sooner the better, I thought there was no time limit for doing that. I never even dreamed that we could be too late. I, I'd been making a huge mistake. I thought Satoko could be hurt, but never that she'd break. It was such a huge mistake. People 
they break, thinking that they don't, is absolutely absurd. We, we needed to save Satoko. We needed to save her before she broke. That fatal lapse in awareness had brought this on. Whose fault was it? That went without saying. Mine. No, ours. I I'm pretty sure it's her uncle's, actually. We all took on the duty of saving Satoko, but we were negligent to the point of laziness. Not really! Like, the instant you knew about this, you were like, WE HAVE TO DO SOMETHING RIGHT NOW! And if you don't do something right now, you're a terrible friend and I hate you! And, like, you made it, like, maybe one day trying to think of something, then told the teacher. And you're like, WE WERE TOO SLOW! I get, I get it. Like, guilt complex. I get it. But in that case, this was the inevitable result. Even if this didn't happen today, and it happened tomorrow, or the day after, or the next week, we would have just sat around doing nothing until that day. So this, this was the obvious result. I slumped down to my knees, just as Mio and Rika had done. Oh no, Rika's kind of probably crying as well. And I, too, closed my eyes tight and couldn't stop myself from sobbing. Uh, is it? Uh, excuse me, teacher, don't slip in the vomit. <laughs> oh yeah, did anyone clean up the, the vomit? The teacher came, and her face screwed up at the terrible spectacle before her. The instant she realized the teacher was here, Satoko went through another complete change. She wiped her face with the curtains, and like nothing happened, smiled. Jeez Louise. I don't understand this girl. Why is there vomit on the floor? Rena didn't nod in reply. But then, since Satoko wished it, she nodded without strength. The rest of the class couldn't keep up with her extreme changes. We all had just stared in a daze. Jeez, she's ever, like, really, really good at hiding her emotions when she wants to, or she's, like, the mother of all actresses. <laughs> Satoko would probably sweep the whole thing under the rug. For what? Her heart is torn to pieces. So what? What else? You, you wanted your needy to help, didn't you? But, unfortunately for you, Satoshi doesn't ever intend on coming back. I don't think he has a choice in the matter. It's never that easy. He won't just conveniently show up and save you. So, you don't have to wait for him anymore. You can cry, beg for help, and you can run away. Whoa! We gotta, guys, we gotta call Batman at this point. Ba Batman will take care of things. <laughs> so I hear that you're making little kids cry. <laughs> Mion suddenly said. She spoke then. Those few words that had tormented me countless times. Those words were a spell, and when I heard them, my whole body suddenly regained its calm. My emotions all slipped away like they'd never been there, like a wave departing. And then, the world's color flipped inside out. What is... What is this song? This is giving me Homestuck vibes. My field of view expanded. My head grew remarkably cold, and I felt like my mind's volume had grown even wider than the classroom we were in. At that time, my soul was doubtlessly no longer in the small, petty vessel of my head, but floating in the air a little bit above it. It was a mysterious feeling of release. I broke free of the cramped confines of my skull, and stretched out my roots in all directions, as far as I wanted to. Is he ascending? It was a strange feeling, and one I'd never felt ever before. An odd sense of exhilaration. My sharpened senses caused me to transcend! My mind was sharper than a knife's edge, and I immediately decided that spending the time to let myself be crushed with grief would be an absolute waste. I erased all the garbage information from my brain. I, oh, I don't like where this is going, because I'm guessing his interpretation of garbage information is not my interpretation. <laughs> I expelled the pointless emotions presenting obstacles to, excuse me, to action. Mio, you're Eh? 
If I could have taken back what had happened by crying about it, I'd have cried all day. But the fact was, this was how things had turned out. I couldn't take back what had happened. The top priority, then, would be to prevent the situation from worsening fervor and to sever the change of misfortune. I mean, that is a good mindset. We can't change the past, but we, there's, we can't do anything about the past, but we can do something about the future. However, where he's going to take that to, I don't know. Until today, I'd been looking at the things so narrow-mindedly I could scarcely believe it. To save Satoko, the only thing to do was to save Satoko. That's the only thing I thought about. I didn't allow myself to realize the most basic, direct, and certain way of removing the source of Satoko's unhappiness. No. Actually, I realized it yesterday. Oh, no, he's going there. He's going to be like, I just have to kill Uncle Tepe. <laughs> but as for the means, I'd relied on some stupid curse from some dumb deity. I never considered carrying the task out myself. Yep, that's exactly what he's doing. Okay. I would obliterate Satoko's uncle. There were plenty of ways to do it. There was a task that had infinite methods. Oh, okay, so he's going crazy. Lovely. Well, you, how about you pull an Angelina ballerina and lure him into a large body of water? <laughs> Ironically, the method of saving Satoko required mostly money, but the method of killing that man pretty much took no money at all. I, I, I can't believe how casually he's just like, Oh, of course! Murder! Again, I would be more upset about him for this, but given what we know about Tepe and uh, what I'm insinuating by reading between the lines, again, I'm not condoning it, but I'm not going to stop him. <laughs> I, won't, I won't try really hard to stop him. I could kill him with the least amount of investment. The least amount of money suited him. It was only the weight of his life. <laughs> this is... Yep. <laughs> yep. It, 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 is, it is interesting, for sure. I kept eliminating needless, worthless information from my head, replenishing it with only, only the knowledge I'd need to achieve my goal. I used every cell in my brain to think about how I'd kill him. The way I killed him didn't matter. I would allow any method, from whatever time and whatever country, as long as it ended in a quick and certain death. If I were to have an additional condition, it would be to not get caught. Removing him was an act designed to return the peaceful times we had with Satoko. If I arrested him in exchange for the removal, then we might as well have killed each other. With only him gone, we'd go back to our normal lives. That was my supreme objective. My ultimate goal. Kill him, definitely. But definitely don't leave evidence behind either. Well, that's, ju that's just common sense. Don't worry, Keiji. I've played a lot of Ace Attorney, so I, I know all the dumb ways that people can get caught with stupid evidence. <laughs> that's true. That, that actually is true. That's true. He definitely... <laughs> I definitely brushed past that, but yeah, you're right. By tell, talking to Mio, and he was definitely, like, <laughs> demanding murder. Wow. <laughs> Two alternatives at odds with one another. The condition of not leaving a trace back to me automatically narrowed the number of mur murder methods. No witnesses was an absolute must. Fortunately, given the right time in Hinamizawa, there would be nobody around. I mentally reconstructed the land around Satoko's house. It's a good thing I took a screenshot of this yesterday. The number of pedestrians different at different times, the movement algorithm of the neighbors. Would I lure him out or charge at him? What would my weapon be? When and where would I carry this out? Where it needed to be somewhere I wouldn't leave a trace. When it needed to be as soon as possible for Satoko's safety, without wasting even a millisecond. This is absurd. Completely absurd. It, it is. When I thought about it this way, it struck me how easy the act of killing was. If I could leave evidence, if I was just going to kill him, anyone could easily turn into a murderer. But our reason prevented that. It told us doing so would get us arrested for sure. In the end, being arrested by the police was the final thing preventing people from committing homicide. <laughs> he actually does have a point. If homicide was not illegal, there would be a lot more of it. <laughs> Absurd. If you went all the way into the middle of, every, of the ocean, you wouldn't leave any trace at all. Anyone would drop those they hated into the depths if they knew that. It was all too easy to simply remove him. I could leave class right now, grab a metal baseball bat or something from the schoolyard, go to his house, and attack him. Could you beat him in a fight, though? He's, like, he's older than you. I don't know if he's, like... He didn't see... He didn't sound like a scrawny guy. He sounded like a big guy. Estimated time would be 25 minutes. Okay, well, let's not do home run practice on him. That would definitely leave evidence behind. If I wanted us to kill each other, it wouldn't even be minutes. I could do it in 1,500 seconds. 
I just knew how much of his ex continued existence depended on me. He was nothing. I could expel him from this world within just 1,500 seconds after making up my mind. From when I decided what to do, he had only 1,500 seconds. Actually, if I ran full speed to his house, that number would go down even further. But he was alive. He was still part of this world at this very moment, having torn Satogo's body and mind to shreds. Why? Because I was letting him live. I was permitting him to live, so he was alive. Yukeji, you're going down a real, real slippery slope right now. Okay, dude. If I rescinded that permission, he would be evacuating this mortal coil within 1,500 seconds. You think I'd let you live to breathe even 1,500 more seconds of air? Stop talking about 1,500 seconds! I'm taking that permission back, right here, right now. You better thank me for letting you live until today. However, I actually need more than 1,500 seconds. I'm not just going to end you. Getting back to our old lives is far more important. It's only you, it's only you I'll be cleanly cutting out of this world. They won't find the culprit. I'll forget that I dirtied my hands on the likes of you as naturally as I brush my teeth before bed. Or to do that, I'll make an special exception for you and give you more than 1,500 seconds. I'm just saying, Keiichi, even if you think it's justified, killing somebody is not something you're going to forget as easily as brushing your teeth at night. Like, that's going to that's gonna stick with you for the rest of your life. I'll give you special permission to keep on living as, as you have until I can construct the perfect plan for a murder for you. Okay, what's the new... Oh, it's the same music. Why is it sometimes it's the same music and sometimes it's not? I don't get it. Wait, KG. You can't let that time go to waste. Yeah, I know. I'll kill him quickly. He's talking to himself. He's crazy. Can you imagine how crazy you have to be to talk to yourself? Like, seriously, that's a sure sign that you're an insane person. Okay, Artie, you need to stop talking about that, all right? People are going to think you're crazy. <laughs> I'll kill him quickly. I'll remove him with certainty. I won't even waste much time to perfect that plan. Think back. Tomorrow is Watanagashi, isn't it? Last year on the night of Watanagashi, her aunt died. Her head was busted open by some deviant and her brain splattered everywhere. That's it. He's someone who deserves to be given death on the night of Watanagashi. Hey, Oyashiro sama You call yourself a guardian, but you didn't protect Satoko. Cursing Satoko's family for the damn stuff is your own business, but now you've made Satoko unhappy when she didn't have anything to do with it. I, Keiji Maibara, hereby denounce you, the guardian deity of Hinamizawa, a failure. We don't need you. Go back to the deepest, darkest part of your shrine this year. Besides, if you had just cursed and killed both her aunt and uncle last year, none of this would have ever happened. The curse this year, it's not on you. I'll be the one deciding. It won't be the free families controlling the serial deaths behind the scenes. No, not some vague people who I can't tell if they're buffoons or not. This time, I'll be the one to deliver divine judgment. So don't get in my way. Just watch. Stay quiet and watch. I'll obliterate him. I'll wipe him off the face of the earth. I will stomp out his very existence. Go away! Disappear! 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 And die. I'll tear your heart apart just like you did to Satoko. I'll have your blood as payment. Whoa. Imagine if we were saying all that out loud. Nope. I'm pretty sure we have lizard eyes at this point. Rena, Mion, and Rika-chan were all looking after me. Had I fallen to the floor? <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, shoot. Yeah, we, de we definitely reptile eyes now. My friends gave a start and backed away. Rena and the others, they exchanged glances, unsure of what to say, and stood confused for a few moments. Oh, bro, imagine if it was actually Oyashiro-sama who was speaking to us during that time, and not, like, our thoughts. What if we're being manipulated by the demon? Rena gulped firmly and opened her mouth. Yep! I knew it! We are starting to go crazy. Well, to be fair, Rena, your eyes have done the exact same thing at multiple points throughout this route, so, you know. Oh, what were those guys talking about? They've all been too scared of me lately. 
たよね。What was Rena saying? Who else do I look like except Keiji Maibara? The look I gave her seemed to speak quite eloquently to those irritated thoughts. She understood and quickly apologized. ごめん、気にしないでね。Well, all right. I guess we're planning a murder. It's like the visual novel equivalent of crime and punishment. New tips unlocked: emergency and DL、uh, D two dash three number forty four. Fifteen hundred seconds reached an epiphany. Oh, funny! Ah、uh, ha ha ha! Funny, because he kept talking about fifteen hundred seconds, and that's what you named the achievement. Laugh, laugh, laugh. A raid emergency. June eighteenth, nineteen eighty-three. Oh, it's not redacted this time. Abuse issues regarding Sojo Ho Satoko Hojo urgent. We propose that Satoko Hojo must be taken into immediate custody based on the items below. One family situation. Life with adoptive father who recently returned to Hinamizawa has already turned disastrous, and she is currently subject to unendurable physical and mental abuse from her father. Two child consultation centers response. A child probation officer was dispatched yesterday on the 17th from the prefecture welfare office, but because of the 77 case, changed to continued coaching and cautionary action. Unfortunately, the consultation office head does not properly understand the situation. Three status of concerned child. Child already appears to be suffering from an outbreak of something close to neurosis or manic depression. If her unstable pu、uh, pubescent mind is negatively stimulated by stress, it will put her development of a healthy body and mind at risk. This cannot be allowed to continue from a humane standpoint. Four allegations made to the family court. We propose, based on the above items, that Satoko Hojo should immediately be taken into protective custody. She should be secured temporarily under emergency allegations to the family court under Article 28. We request emergency coordination between all related agencies. Okay, but it was talking about her adoptive father, so that is indicating this was back when she made the fake one, and not what happened as a result of Teacher San、uh, talking. Children with special needs, General D two dash three number forty four, nineteen seventy seven. Child name, Satoko Hojo, redacted year old old. Residence redacted in Hinamizawa Village, Shishibone. One consultation circumstances. Telephone SOS from child of、uh, child abuse. Two abuse situation. Child claims she is being physically abused by her adoptive father. Three family structure. Circle means abusers. Circle adoptive father, real mother, older brother, child in question. Note adoptive father and real mother entered family registry in 19 redacted. The child is the daughter of the mother's previous husband. Four. Child consultation center's response. On the day of the child's telephone consultation, the,、uh, the center called the child's school and asked of her situation. On that day, the child welfare officer on duty visited the child's house and conducted an interview. The adoptive father sincerely listened to instruction and agreed to take child raising workshops in the city from now on. As part of the suggested coaching, the center will continue to observe the situation. Five other notes. As a result of numerous counseling sessions at the city at the city's education and consultation office regarding the child, we learned that there was a high possibility the cause of the child's excessive distrust towards her adoptive father was the result of a lack of communication. The abuse she claimed hadn't actually taken place. She had made a false report to distance herself from her adoptive father. Below is a note written in pencil by the person on duty at the time. The problem appeared to be more with the daughter. Chief Investigator F of the City Education's Consultation Office said that most of her stories of abuse were likely fabrications. They decided to shift the focus of their coaching to the child. Be cautious not to take everything the child says as truth. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, the alien music that I was hearing had technically had two different versions, but one was just a remix. They sounded exactly the same based on the short bit that I heard. But all right, fair enough. All right. Well, given the heavy subject matter and、uh, the time of night, as well as the fact that I do have、uh, stuff I need to do early tomorrow morning, I think we've got to end the stream there. Again,、um, that was a lot to take in. Definitely some very dark themes happening right now, but we'll be continuing this on Sunday, and then hopefully we can finish this in two more streams. So one on Sunday, one on Halloween. 
Here's hoping if we potentially need another stream, then maybe I'll stream Wednesday and Halloween, which I, I believe Halloween's a Thursday. So uh, we'll figure that out. Thanks for joining in, everybody. Thanks for chatting. It was definitely enjoyable. I wish you all a fantastic rest of your night, a great weekend, and God bless everybody.